take my spouse off my medical insurance? And what about my car insurance? So how does insurance work during a divorce? You are required to maintain all insurances pending litigation. That's house, home insurance, vehicle insurance, medical insurance, life insurance. You can agree. You can say, listen, you have the ability to maintain your own medical insurance. I'm going to remove you from mine. It's my window in which I can change it with my employment. And if the other side agrees, that's fine. You enter into a consent order, an agreement saying that you can do that. But absent agreement, you have to maintain all insurances pending a divorce. Now, what if someone takes the other person off the insurance and they found out after the fact and the med let's say it's a medical insurance policy and, and the spouse has been removed and then the employer says, well, open enrollment is over. I can't, I can't add them back. What happens then? Well, first of all, you want to obtain insurance quickly. You can do so if you can't through your own employment. You want to obtain insurance. You can do so through New Jersey Kid Care for your children. Second of all, you need to be made whole. And so you would contact your attorney, and if you had to, file an application with the court for the spouse who terminated the insurance to either put you back on insurance um, via court order, they can do that, or, and to reimburse you, make sure that they're, they have the responsibility to pay for the fees that you wouldn't have had to pay for, but for their recalcitrance. And in that situation, I believe a court would probably award counsel fees as well. When you say award counsel fees, what does that mean? So counsel fees are awarded by a court when requested based upon good faith, bad faith, ability to pay, and need. There are several other factors, but those are generally the main factors the court looks at. So bad faith would be but for his um, actions of taking you off insurance, you wouldn't have had to come to court. You wouldn't have had to right. incur this expense. That's bad faith. Right. You had good faith, you tried to resolve it, maybe you sent a letter before filing the application, um, and they exhibited bad faith. A need and ability to pay, especially in our prior circumstance where um, the spouse who wasn't working, that's a need. And if there's a, sp a spouse who is working, they would have an ability to pay. Absolutely, absolutely.